Hey everyone, welcome to my channel where we're doing original music, um, album reviews, song reviews, uh, song covers, a little bit of politics here and there, whatever the day calls for. I, all, I have original music both on here and at robcarry.bandcamp.com. If you like what you see here, please subscribe to the channel. Um, if you have content on here as well, I will absolutely support you as well. Um, I'm all about supporting up and comers here. Today's song review is the brand new single, Caved In, from the band Spite. Other than a couple songs here and there, previously, this band never uh, really stood out to me much. But recently, Josh Miller, the mastermind of the two-man band running this genre right now, Darko, uh, joined this band. He left his gig in a muir, and instead of just putting 100% into Darko, he uh, moved on to join this band here, Spite. Uh, since he joined, they've dropped one song, Made to Please, and his influence is already all over this shit. And looking at the artwork that represents what we're about to dive into here, Caved In, the Josh Miller stamp is all over that too. The excitement is definitely here to see what this new song has in store. So let's dive into it. The introduction is really good stuff. Um, it shows that the aim is to be brutal, but it's not going to be done in a lazy way. Um, a semi-technically timed thrash attack comes in after that, and it sounds great. Frantic sounding verses give way to pounding grooves and a nice breakdown, and then back into the thrash attack. Like I really like uh, that section of the song. It, it reminds me a lot of uh, some early 2000s deathcore um, uh, with Josh Miller's work in Amur and his work in Darko, he does a lot of great stuff, but there's not a lot of like the thrash metal element here. Like you can tell when he joins a band, he's not really trying to make it sound just like the other projects he's in, but his stamp is on it at the same time. Um, so I was very impressed by how d different this is from his other projects. This is nothing like Darko. Um, then it's time to two-step. There's a really cool two-step part um, that will definitely uh, get people going when they watch this band live. Two minutes and some seconds in, the song just gets so much better than it already was. Um, we change it to an even faster tempo, and the song from there on out, it just gets so much better. Uh, the faster thrash section highlights the raw sounding days of deathcore that I do miss. Um, it's raw, it's dirty, it would do nothing but either annoy or give a dismissive attitude from uh, the most average mainstream of music listener. I mean, there's nothing accessible about this, and I love it for that. It's, it's very raw sounding. Uh, the production isn't. It's still very modern, but it... It's badass as fuck, man. Uh, it, it's a really cool part. And then we come into the final breakdown, which completely crushes. It has uh, the parts that are that we all love where, like, uh, one guitar is just, like, playing, like, the riff they were doing while the other guitar is doing a chug where the bass drum and just the drumming in general is following that. And then it all comes together full circle for the final beatdown. Um, it crushes it. It, it, it's good stuff. This song gets a 9.5 out of me. Uh, the vocalist gets the job done, but nothing more. And you can't hear the bass guitar, and it adds nothing to the song. And that's all I really got for complaints. Um, there are tons of great parts in this song. And when it comes to scratching the itch for hate-filled deathcore and brutality, this gets it done and then some. So I'm, I'm happy with this. I don't know if I would want to hear an entire album of this. Um, I hope they have a couple other tricks up their sleeve, but if the album was like 65-70% this with some other things thrown in here and there, I mean, I think they got, they probably got their best album coming. Um, so yeah, I'm happy with this. 9.5 for me.